Sick Jagged from the Sick Ass Psycho Realm right here on Chicago Street TV. Sup, y'all? I got the name Sick Jagged when I was in school. Um, one of my boys, uh, Brian Pino, he was a... Uh, he was from uh, from Graveyard. He was from the Walton Boys. They were Graveyard, so he used to always be writing, you know, like Cholos and Taggers do. He used to always be writing, and he used to he used to put uh, he just started writing uh, 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 Jack Jack and Jay Jack and Jay started he added E N to my name Jack and so I stuck with that, and then the sick came from uh, when we did Psycho Room. We started doing the whole six side thing, and that's how I became Sick Jack and. What we were doing, uh, the name Psycho Room came about because we were doing, uh, we were doing a lot of college shows. We were doing the college circuit back then, and we didn't really have a name. So once we started getting a little following, and people, we started seeing people come to the different colleges to see us perform. We felt we realized we had to get serious and come out with a name. So we were in, uh, we we're in the, in the in our apartment, apartment ten, on uh, West uh, 1035 West 17th Street, and me and Duke sat down. And we were like, all right. Um, I told them, I told them um, everybody uses tribe, click, posse. Um, I, I like the word realm. I told them, and of course, the fucking maniac. The first word that he said was psycho. So we we're like psycho realm. We're like psycho realm. Okay. Um, a lot of people aren't gonna know if it's a, a fucking movie, a rock group, a fucking something. And we're like perfect. So we kept it psycho realm. That's a hard ass name though, right? The gas mask came about uh, from that first album cover was a picture of a, a, a girl wearing a gas mask, right? Our first album cover. So Cartoon started drawing logos based off of that. He put the fedora on there just to give it the L.A. feel, the L.A. street feel. And he did a couple versions of it. One we used for the original sticker, and then the one that you see now everywhere is the one that we kept as our logo. The gas mask pretty much uh, is, is, a perf is a perfect symbol for our music. Which is, um, you know, a gas mask, what it does is it protects you from pollution, um, which is, you know, in our case is, you know, our music protects you from lies, protect, you know, uh, pretty much from taking the wrong path. Uh, we talk about life and our surroundings in a non -biased, from a non-biased standpoint. And um, so it's a perfect symbol for our music. And you see it everywhere in the world now. Yeah, the, the way we met Be Real was uh, we were doing a show the summer of 93, I had just graduated high school, and there was a girl there promoting a movie called Mi Vida Loca, which is about uh, Echo Park, and uh, b was there, uh, we showed up with Capper, and they, they went to support that, you know, I guess that was their friend, so he showed up, that's how he got to see us perform, he ended up, uh, sign, he ended up offering us a, uh, a deal that day, like to sign us, so... In the contract, you know, he had, like every year he was supposed to make a certain amount of money. So because he knew her or whatever, they, he ended up uh, getting us on that soundtrack. Uh, yeah, we used to work for Joker Clothing when they had Joker brand. We signed a B-Real. So uh, that's how we met them. And we ended up going and being like being at Joker Warehouse, helping out, uh, working there while we were recording demos. The first album cover was a picture that uh, Esteban Odiol took. And... Um, and we used it. We contracted him for f to do the, f the photos, the press photos. Uh, he, we used that picture for for an album cover. Him and Cartoon got the job to do the the pretty much the, the artwork and the for the first album. Uh, he did the ver the video for Psycho City Blocks. So that album cover was that was a picture of a girl wearing a gas mask. That shit looked dope too with the green. I think somebody from Sony did the whole layout of the of the record though, but they provided all the images. Well, Cypress Hill was doing uh, Los Grandes Éxitos en Español, and they um, they they got they got me, Duke, and Melo to do the translations, right? So I think Melo did half of them, me and Duke did the other half. So in my living room, Maywood, where uh, where we recorded all the Psycho Room demos, where we did the uh, the ones that me and Duke did. You know, the, I want to get high. I wrote that one. Yo Quiero Fumar, that's the one I translated. Duke did Kill a Man. I, no, I, I don't know who gave him or Melo, but Duke did some, I did some, and then Melo did the rest of them. My first tattoo was, uh, was this one. I have... Um,
first tattoo is this one, and it's pretty much where I was at at the moment. Uh, Cartoon did it. This is uh, this is uh, my first baby's mom, Ruby. That's the Cypress Hill badge. The gas mask. It's the first gas mask tattoo ever, by the way. It's up for sale. There's an auction on eBay right now for it. And uh, downtown LA in the back. It's pretty much my story at the time. All my tattoos are part, are, you know, uh, tell the story of my life, just like my music. I don't think about the Illuminati. I have no thoughts about the Illuminati. So El Barrio came about when I was doing the record with, uh, with Muggs. And, um, you know, Muggs always, tries, always wants me to rap in Spanish. You know, I did that uh, Narco Corridos with El Bill, the hooks in Spanish. Uh, we were doing the record, and he's, he said, uh, do this one in Spanish. He played me the beat for El Barrio. I was like, all right, cool. I don't, we don't ever really mix. Up until that point, we never really mixed it. I always, we always did Spanish separate, you know? I don't know why, but we did. So for that song, um, it was, the concept was, you know, war, you know, the song by war, the world is a ghetto. Well, el mundo es un barrio, but it was, it was pretty much showcasing us, like Latino America, Mexico, um, you know, and, and even, even Spain, you know, like all the, just the, the Spanish speaking um, regions. And um, I, I mentioned, I, you know, I, I give love to everybody on that song. And then so when we shot the video, uh, the video didn't feel complete to me. So I put out a message on, on Facebook to the fans and said, hey, um, we're shooting a video for the song. Please send us videos of you, of yourselves in your barrios, you know, from the different countries. And we'll put them, we'll pick the best clip. Not, you know, not in favor of the, you know, favoritism for the country, but just whatever shot looks dope. So make sure you shoot it right. So a lot, so all those shots that you see of people in their in their in their countries with, with their flags and their hoods, those were all real videos that fans sent in. You know, so that song, I think it it, it means a lot to to a lot of people in in that region, those regions. That um, you know, I'm glad it served its purpose. You know, Stone Garden, Stone Garden was a poem that I had called the Garden of Stone. Uh, it was a poem about about a, a cemetery. And uh, when 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 I did made that beat, um, we were you know kind of made sense to have that be the topic of that. So we called that song. We just changed the, the name from Garden of Stone to Stone Garden, and then we wrote the song. It's about you know death, and you know pretty much based around the same concept, but talking about your levels that pass and all that, death in general. Yes, sir. I got um, next up is Lord of the Flies. Entirely produced by Cynic and Street Platoon. After that, I have um, a Spanish album, finally. Uh, entirely produced by my brother G-Bone. And then I have a project that I'm doing uh, entirely produced by Stu Bangers. I got a few one-offs here and there, some features. And then after that, hopefully, I'll be able to um, do an album that I produce entirely again. And I could dive in and go full progressive with, with my music. So. Yes, sir. Uh, Sig, at Sig Jackin on Instagram, at the Cycle Realm on Instagram, uh, the official Sig Jackin on Facebook, and uh, our website is thecyclerealm.com. Appreciate you guys' support, man. Our music exists because of you guys. Thank you for that, man. It's a, it's a real blessing. Appreciate it.